What's up guys, it's me, your badass ghost straight video. Welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went all the way through Route 111, 112, 113, whatever, what have you. And we got here to the area where we can actually find our starter uh, secret base. Yeah, little starter secret, secret base, which I'm not gonna, I'm probably not gonna be using for very long. And we're gonna be continuing our adventure to go to... Let's see, yes, we need to go to, whatchamacallit, uh, yeah, Falarbor Town. We got stuff that we need to do. So, first is first, let's go right ahead and talk to this guy, this chick right here. And she's going to be healing up our Pokemon because, well, shoot, we need it. We need uh, our Pokemon to be uh, just healed up and ready to go. And, no, we are not tired. Let's just go ahead and get the heck out of here. Yes, let's go. Anywho, let's see, what is the next thing we need to do? Uh, yeah, so I do have the bike for this. We're gonna be exploring the whole thing right here Add it to our hearts content and we're gonna be battling as much as we can because we got lots of stuff Lots of stuff to do right here. So yeah in our last few episodes. We You know, we, we did a lot of we did a lot of side uh, side quests and all that stuff And I, I know that a lot of you guys are like oh man. He's doing the same thing again is like well. Yeah, of course I have to it's this walkthrough. Many of you guys don't like uh, everything meshing in together, so I just, you know, I might as well do it. Plus, it's Pokemon, uh, it's Pokemon Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire. You're gonna get a butt ton of Pokemon. And I mean a lot of them, so, yes. Hooray for diversity, right? And, well, Lainoon is not keeping up with me, so let's go with a double kick, which I probably should have done. And there you go. Alrighty, okay. So there we go, fainted, and there we go. Tommy JDF, two levels away from evolving into uh, its final stage, and Shadow Eye right here, just mooching off, and is finally learning a better move, which is Faint Attack, which many of you guys know does not miss. And since Shadow Sneak usually st uh, is, is usually a starter move, like Quick Attack, and Shadow, Shadow Eye only has what you might call it, stall, it won't work, so yeah, let's go right ahead and just Give it the faint attack and all that crud, too. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and grab this item right here. And would you look at that? We found ourselves an elixir. And, well, let's go right ahead and use this bike and get the heck down here. Okay, so talk to this girl right here, and she'll be able to give you a few berries, like a raspberry. That's, that's very, very nice. And, well, we got a few more other berries right here, so let's go right ahead and just grab these little suckers. Look at this. Okay. Bam. We got ourselves Nana berries. Usually nice. And then we're going to grab this one right here. Look at this. Yes. Get ourselves some Ross berries. And then grab this one right here. Bam. Grab ourselves two more Ross berries. And that right there is going to help us out right here. So then... Moving on forward, we're going to be battling some more trainers. So let's go. Let's get it. Let's do it. Here we are taking on Ace Trainer Brooke, and she will be coming out with a Wingle. There we go. Okay, so Tommy JDF, get ready to take on, uh, to, to mess up a, a, a Wingle right here. So let's go. Peck Attack. I think we're going to do a Peck Attack again. And there we go. Wingle survives one hit. And that wing attack actually hurts, but, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, it hurts, but, you know, we're strong enough to, we're, 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 we're very strong. Super strong. And, well, there you go. Getting that, and here comes a Numo, so let's go right ahead and switch it out right here. Let's go with Ole. And it looks like to be that, you know, Lanoon is, Yeah. Lanoon is, uh, what was it called? Uh, it has picked up another item real quickly again. So let's go right ahead and go with Le Boble Beam. Right here. And this takes care of that. Alrighty. Okay. Look at that. Get more points. And, well, if you guys are wondering what level does Olay evolve into, well, we need a Water Stone. And we don't have that. Not yet. But we need a Water Stone. And... Well, I'm, I'm kind of looking at everything that's going on right here. Yes, I will still evolve Olay, but I'm still thinking of other Pokemon teams, other Pokemon that I want to use in order to, you know, complete this whole game. There are, you know, a nice array of Pokemon in Hoenn that, you know, are catching my eye here and there. And just like that, we defeat, you know, Roselia right here. 
and Thunderball gets the level 31. Yes. Okay, so let's see. What is next right here? No more Ace Trainers, but we are going to be going into this location. And hey! Well, hello there. The road here it was pretty long, huh? I got tired enough that I, wa I had to take a break. And, well, Draven, your Pokemon look pretty tired themselves. Let me take care of them for a sec. Well, she took care of me. Thank you very much. And, well, there, there's all, they're all better. I'm on my way to visit the Professor Cosmo. He's a famous for, he's famous for his research on meteorites. He was working on a project with my dad, um, I mean, Professor Burton, on meteorites. And, uh, and how meteorites might affect Pokemon. And, well, enough dawdling. Uh, I think it's much, far, it's much farther to Fall Arbor. Let's give it a li the last push, which we will. We will be pushing. And, well, here we are in another path where all the ashes come together. And, well, would you look at that? I recognize that cry. I am going to be using a repel because this one's going to be... Yeah, this one's going to be an epic battle right here. So, let's go right ahead and, well, scare the Pokemon away. That was a Skarmory, by the way. And, well, let's go ahead and start battling everybody. So, yeah, there are quite a few Pokemon that you can find here. Skarmory is one of them. Um, uh, that, 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 that that Pokemon that looks like uh, the Koala and stuff with different variations on his skin. And, well, here we go, taking on the Trapage. And, well, Trapage right here looks pretty good. But guess what? Here it is. Flame Charge for the win. And there we go. That's how we do things. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. And, well, Shadow Eye growing to level 20. And here comes Electrike. Let's go right ahead and use Shadow Eye. I've been wanting to use this Pokemon for quite some time. Now, again, it does have the move Stall. Or the ability Stall. So that means it's going to attack second regardless. But I do have a move that will help us. And that is Metal Burst. So here comes a Spark Attack. And that right there hits us. So here comes Metal Burst. And this will hit this Pokemon twice as hard. As you guys can see, it's not that hard. Holy buckets. Okay, so... <laughs> Let's go with another Metal Burst. And here comes a Thunder Fang. And another Metal Burst. Again, this move only works... Only works, uh, you know, it only works if you get hit one time. And it looks like to me, Shadow Eye is getting some some pain right here. So here we go, Metal Burst yet again. And just like that, Electrike has been defeated. And look at this, look at that. Okay, so Shadow Eye is doing pretty good. It, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty good and all that stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and get off our bike and just continue on battling right here. Anything and everybody. And this kid doesn't want to battle, right? It's fun getting myself half buried when the mountain's covered in ashes. That is true. And just be careful. Some of these ashes could have a trainer. And it might be that one. So there it is. Bring it on. Let's get it. Okay, so here we go. Taking on a ninja boy right here. His name is Lau. And he wants to he wants to battle. Here comes a coughing. So here we go. Coughing. How's it going? You're about to get beat by a flame charge. And this won't be nice. So here it is. Flame charge for the win. Coughing defeated. Alrighty. Okay, alrighty. And, well, there we go. Lanoon growing to level 28 without doing anything. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here to Gaia the Fierce Knight. We're going to risk it just a tad bit. Just a little bit. So here we go. Coughing, ready to go. And... Guy is tracing and it's using levitate so don't know what kind of moves it would actually hit us with so let's go confusion attack for the win and just like that coughing has been defeated okay alrighty and it looks like he's coming out with another coughing so let's just keep it right here so let's get it another confusion attack and there we go and coughing, no longer with us. Yes. And just like that, Gaia grows to level 27. Now oh, it's getting closer and closer to its evolution. That's pretty good. That is very, very good. Okay, so let's see. 
what else do we need to do right here? Okay, so let's go over towards this part right here. I think she wants to battle, but you, yeah, you will be finding an item right here, which is a super repel. And, well, let's go ahead and see. Yeah, she wants to battle right here, so let's go right ahead and do that. What's up? Who is next? And this is Fairy Tale Girl Franny. And she will be having herself a Curlia. And, well, let's go right ahead. And, yes, trace attack or trace the ability trace. So, let's go right ahead and go with a flame charge right here. Flame charge for the win. And just like that, Curlia has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. So, our Pokemon are doing good. And Olay, growing to level 33. Yes, doing its thing. Alrighty, okay. So, let's see. Is another Pokemon trainer done? We can go back down right here, and you will be finding a lot of Pokemon that, you know, you haven't, you have well, you haven't met. Santru is another Pokemon that comes to mind right here. So, let's go right ahead and continue on finding some new Pokemon. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and switch it out to Gaia. We do need to evolve it, so let's go ahead and see her. And she's like, I used this Paracel to ward off this filthy, yucky volcanic ash from my dear Numo. Yeah. So, about Numel. You do realize it's a, it's basically a volcano. A walking volcano. You just don't get that. Okay, so maximum effort right here. Trace, and, uh, well, she has one Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and go with the Confusion Attack. Let's see what happens. And... Oh, yeah. Nearly defeats Numel. So here comes a sunny day from Numel. And no, 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 that's not going to work. It's going to increase its, its power, but I'm not going to let it do that. So here comes a confusion attack, and that right there gets us the victory. So, bam, Shadow Eye grows to level 21 and is learning Fake Out. This is another move that, you know, starts off first. Everything, everything, like, er, most of its move is very contradicting to that freaking, uh, that, that stall technique. So... I might be looking into like switching it out because it's like this is okay I, I see the benefits in that because you know I could learn moves such as counter mirror coat and all that stuff but a lot of its moveset comes with uh, what was it you know it, it it makes it the starter Pokemon like the first attacking Pokemon if you guys know what I'm talking about so let's go right ahead and take on another trainer right here alrighty let's go youngster Dylan or Dillian Wow, I can't even pronounce his name. Coming out with an Auron. And let's go, Gaia. And let's go right ahead and do this. Let's go with... Well, it has this Rockhead. That is usually the Pokemon I go for when it comes to, you know, Auron. Because it, it likes to use a lot of recoil effects and stuff. So here comes a Roar Attack. Scaring our Pokemon. And this one brings out the worst Pokemon typing for this guy. Olay. Let's go with the Razor Leaf attack. And that is an, ev oh, yeah, an evasion. Okay. All right, Auron. I see what you're doing, and I don't like it. So here we go. Razor Leaf for the win. And that right there takes care of that. And from the sounds of, uh, from the sounds of it, it's not really you know weak against grass type. So it probably should have gone with a water type attack right here. All righty. Okay. So, let's go ahead and move on ahead, and yes, use another Repel, because we don't need to be attacked by any of these Pokemon right here. And I'm hearing Skarmory every friggin' time. And let's go ahead and grab this. Here we found ourselves a Max Ether, which, believe it or not, I've gotten quite a few just by banging rocks. Uh, when we were trying to get what's his face nose pass and all that stuff So let's go right ahead and talk to this guy. This area is covered in volcanic ash plink plink uh, I'm especially gifted plink plink. I make glass out of volcanic uh, volcanic ash then use the glass to make items plink plink Go collect ash with this plink plink the suit sash sack and the messed up part about this is that it's not like in the older generations where you can actually walk into the the grassy area with the ashes and collect the ashes. No, you have to go through the little puddles of of ash that are around here. And there, there are very, very few of them. Yeah, there are very, very few of these areas. So, yeah, let's not 
let's not uh, do that. And, well, let's move into this port right here. There's one. I think there's a hidden person right here. Yes, there is. And, well, let's go right ahead and take on Ninja Boy Lung. And the funny thing is that Lung, Ashy, all that stuff, that is funny. So, let's go right ahead and take on the Ninjask, or Ninkata and all that crud. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and go with a Magical Leaf right here. Just like this. Magical Leaf. Does it do it? It takes away all of its HP, which is hilarious. So, there you go. 200 points. And he is going to be coming out with a Ninja. So, that's going to be a little faster than what we have. So, we're going to go even faster with Thunderball. It's fully evolved form. And I believe it was in the last episode where, yes, it... It evolved, so there we go. Big old Pokeball, reverse Pokeball, and all that crud. Let's go with an Electro Ball. And yes, we are faster. I'm actually liking the fact that, you know, uh, what was it called? Uh, Thunderball is a lot faster than the Ninjas. Usually that's never the case. And there we go. Tommy JDF grows to level 35. And that right there takes care of that guy. So, let's see. There must be one more thing right here. And yes. We have found ourselves a Hyper Potion, which, you know, can help us out in the long run. I don't think I bought a lot of uh, Hyper Potions or anything like that. Um, just having to remember something like here. There, there, there should be an item right here somewhere. Nope, there is nothing right here. So, here we are, guys, in Fall Arbor Town. We are going to stop right here. Because in the next episode, you do not want to miss it. We're going to be finding a lot of great stuff. It will be fun. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being supportive as always and patient. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.